there's a way that I get to make broilers just have incredible weight in a very short period of time. Actually, the things I'm going to tell you today, if you try it and it doesn't work, then nothing else will work in poultry. That's an assurance. That's to guarantee you that if you do these things, you are going to get the results. There's no doubt about it. For a while, let's just put feed aside and let's focus on some certain things that actually matter. Um, feed is overrated and we are not going to be focusing on feed. We know definitely that feed is good. However, there are certain things that if you take them out, even when you put in the best, you buy the most expensive feed, you are still not going to get the good result that you want. All right, so let's focus on these things in a few moments. All right, so I think we should give some attention to these things. We should give some attention to water. Yeah, it sounds simple, but don't worry. I'm going to break it down for you very soon. I'm going to break it down in a way that you will like, wow. So this is, this is exactly what I've been doing wrong. A lot of the times when people sit down on my videos and they watch it, they get to call me and say, wow, there's a lot that I've been doing wrong and I'm just going to start doing it right. So these are the things you're going to learn in this video. Now, you know, when you bring in your day old chicks, most of the time people just know they have to buy a very good feed and they just have to start giving it to the birds. Yeah. Of course, you give them water, you give them vaccines, you give them antibiotics, you give them multivitamins. Those are just the routines that people are familiar with. But that is not where the result is. I'm going to show you where the result of that massive weight is. Actually, there are three, three things that can happen. It's those three things that determine whether you're going to succeed or you're going to fail. Or you're just going to be mm, average. On the average, maybe just, you're just okay. Everything just seems to be manageable but you're not just getting that outstanding result that you see on facebook and you say come on these people are lying i'm going to show it to you today that they are not telling any lies everything is actually true and those results are achievable of course the first thing i'm going to talk about out of those three things is that the chicks are dying and this is what gets most people woke <laughs> let me use that term woke that's what awakens their spirit. If the chicks are dying, there are things that can account for it. Whether the temperature is just too high, some people don't know that the temperature can be too high. They just know the charcoal pot with charcoal or turn the gas on. <clears throat> Not many people even use gas. So they just load the charcoal pot and <clears throat> somebody still called me, I think yesterday or two days ago, the person got the old chicks is it chicks or turkeys now? And called me that she's going to get another one because they all died. Why? They choked them with charcoal. Come on. Let's start learning this thing. So if the chicks are dying, it could be that the temperature is too high. It could be that the temperature is too low. If it is too low, then they'll, they may get pneumonia from there. Don't forget what I talked about in the last uh, session. They may get pneumonia due to low temperature. The temperature is just too cold. The humidity too can be too high, and if that happens, then you are going to be breeding diseases like coccidiosis before long. And even the birds will not be able to breed, they will be having respiratory issues because at that high humidity, their air passage will not be free to actually help them respirate properly. Maybe your chicks are coping, and you're like, Wow, thanks to God, they are not really dying, they are not dying, maybe just mortality of one, two today, and Tomorrow, no mortality. Everything is just fine. They are growing. They are fine. But something is wrong that you don't know. Something is wrong, but you don't know. All right. So when the chicks are coping, what happens? The chicks are eating, but they are using lots of the feed to generate some heat. Yeah, maybe in the place of insufficient heat, maybe in your own case, uh, the temperature is just 22, 23, and it's slow for them, especially in the first two, three days. And you're like, yeah, the chicks are not dying. So you feel nothing is going wrong. But of course, my friend, the chicks are using some of your hard earned money that you have given to them as feed. They're using it to generate it so that they will be okay for you. Instead of converting the feed to meat, instead of directing all the energy to convert the meat, uh, the feed to meat, they're using some of it, maybe 30%, you don't know to generate it and you feel everything is okay and at the end of it you say ah 
my chicks, they were fine, they didn't die, but they are just not performing like that of DIY. Come on, I'm going to I'll let you in on some other secrets. So, the chicks are not eating and would gather together to generate warmth. Oh, when the temperature is just so cold, the chicks, they're like, oh, you know, some of them, in some cases, they want to heat more to generate. In some cases, when it is extreme, they just go and hibernate in one corner and they're just resting. I know some of you have experienced this and you're like, what's wrong? What's happening? They just go and hide in one corner and they're like, <clears throat> they're sleeping. You see some mosquitoes going to perch on them. You know, they are just, I don't like that kind of setting. Come on. Before you know it, some of them may suffocate because they have crowded together. Some of them that are weak because they have not eaten for long. Some of them may just die. They will suffocate and die. And you're like, ha! They just died. Nothing. They were not sick. Yes. Chicks that are not sick can also die. All right. So what's the third thing that can happen? And that's what every one of us wants. And this is it. The third thing that can happen is that the chicks are comfortable. As simple as that word is. It means everything actually. As long as you can make your chicks comfortable, come on. They are going to give you all the results you can get. Then you cannot start running after the best feed. If you cannot provide them with comfort, forget the feed. Just give them any feed. In the comfort zone, you don't have to do anything to feel okay. So you are, you are in a room that is hot. What do you do? Sometimes you can take your hand fan and you start to find yourself. You start to find yourself. You are supposed to be resting. You are supposed to be enjoying life. You are supposed to be enjoying, as a chick now, you are supposed to be enjoying the feed that you have given them. You are supposed to take the water. You are supposed to rest. You are supposed to convert the feed to meat. But as you now, in a room that is hot, you spend your time fanning yourself. You spend your time fanning yourself, your energy, fanning yourself, your protein, fanning yourself, the carbohydrate, fanning yourself, the fat, fanning yourself, all the lysine, the methylene, fanning yourself, trying to be okay. Come on, stop that. Let them have their comfort zone. And you should be the one providing that comfort. They should not try. They should not be panting and raising their wings up like this. And you're like, oh, these chicks are actually active. See how they are panting. Come on. They are already being stressed. All right, so... They should be in their comfort zone where everything is just okay for them. Kai, if you can do this as a farmer, as a broiler farmer, you've got everything perfect.